Hey guys, so in a previous video I showed you how to create a flat list like so and now I want to show you how to style this and make it look pretty. And to do this we are going to be using React Native Elements. This is a really nice library that makes it super easy to just add styling to our applications, kind of like Bootstrap for React Native. And now the specific component we're going to use, we're going to download this and we're going to use the list element. So we're using a random user API, which actually gives us some images. So I'm thinking it'd be kind of cool to make a list like this, where we have the name of the users, and then we have a little picture that they give. So this is the uh, API response that we get. And you can just see we get the picture, and we can get a thumbnail of them. If we click on that, we can actually just see it pop up here. We can use this little thumbnail um, and render that in our app. So that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and download this. Um, I'm going to copy the URL here. It's called React Native Elements. And that is what we're going to type into our terminal. So I'm going to say yarn add React Native Elements. And this will go ahead and install the package and add it to the project so I can go ahead and use it. And now it's a really simple step here. All we're going to do is we're going to import list and list item and this is from react native elements and then coming back to the uh, Chrome for a second if we scroll down they have an example of how it works so we just imported and now what we want to do is create a list item like so so we're gonna have a round avatar we're gonna we have the key already but we put pass in the title and the avatar and we're already getting the first name and last name. We can also pass in the picture and then the thumbnail. So come back over here, come into render items, and I'm going to paste in this list item. So instead of you doing text, we're going to use that. And then in the title and key, we don't need to pass key because we're using key extractor. Um, and then here, we can copy this because we want to grab the first name, last name, and put that for the title. And then in the avatar here, we're going to say item.picture.thumbnail, and that'll give us the picture. And that's it. So we have our list item here. We're saying we want a round picture. We're telling it which URL for the picture and then the title. And then we just need to wrap this in a list. Now you'll notice how we're wrapping the flat list inside of a list. And the list component here is purely for style. So this actually doesn't do anything, so it's completely fine to do it like this. We're not bad performance wise. It's just for styling. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like. And we'll let this finish building. And I think we, we did include our package, so we might have to... Okay, so if you got that error also, which you shouldn't be getting that error, that's because I forgot we have to install one extra thing that this uses. And this is what you should see when you install it, but we're going to fix that in a second. So go over to the command line and run this command. Uh, npm install React Native Vector Icons, um, and we want to call React Native Link. So this library is um, used inside of the other library, but I forgot about that. Um, so just real quick, you can also replace this if you wanted to with yarn, doing yarn add instead of save. And also, if you've never seen the and sign like this used in command line, this just means run this command, and then when that's done, run this command. If we were to get rid of it, we could run this command, and then right after that, we could say react native link react native vector icons. So run both of those commands, um, and then make sure you go ahead and restart your terminal. Or not your terminal, these guys. So both this thing and this, go back and turn them off and do react native run iOS. And then you should see something like this. Um, and this is a very quick fix we just need to get rid of. We're done using the styles 
the default styles that come with React Native, we can remove those. And then we should see our beautiful list. So just delete that. And now we see our beautiful list pop up. So cool. So that is how you can style a flat list in React Native. And in the next video, what I want to do is show you guys how to, if we scroll past, you know, the length of the screen, you know, I want to load more icons. So I'm going to show you how to basically dynamically, while scrolling, load more. Some people call it lazy loading, some call it infinite scroll, but that is coming up in the next video. So I'll see you guys then.